Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be on replacing the SATA hard drive for an SSD hard drive on this HP all-in-one. This is an HP Envy, uh, it's four years old. It's not slow at all by, by any means, but because it does have a SATA drive and um, it's almost full to capacity, it's a one terabyte. Um, I wouldn't replace it and give and bring new life to um, my desktop. This is where I do my videos, this is where I do my work, my surfing and whatnot. So let's get to it. Now, I, the first thing you do is you take the base and you, you push the base back. Then when, once you have access to this uh, cover back here, you take these tabs and you snap them in like so. Once you do, this should pop forward and back. And that will expose this compartment in here. This is where the memory goes, and this is where the hard drive goes. Now, I have a video on how to actually uncover this and how to replace it, replace the hard drive, replace the memory. Today, we're just gonna focus on actually replacing the uh, hard drive. So the next thing we wanna do is we're going to push down on this green uh, button tab here, and then once that's done, you pull to the side. You're supposed to pull to the side once you push down and then you pull up that disconnects the hard drive and then it allows you access to the four screws that holds it in place now what we want to do is we want to take the new hard drive and we want to make sure that it's the same size which is it should be a 2.5 sorry for the outside noise okay so this is the actual drive, perfect. And then you have the holes there for the screws. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work on that right now. Sorry for the outside noise. I uh, had no idea that there was gonna be some work going on. Anyway, so hard drive, this is the way we wanna match up the actual SATA connection to go back in there. So before we do that, let's start taking off the screws. I have electric drill, but we don't need it for this. One, two. Now I'm I'm, I'm opting not to clone this. I backed up the, the the data on this drive, at least the most important stuff that I need. Um, I have also made sure that I have all the config. I could have chosen to clone it, but um, I want to start off fresh and install the, the latest version of Windows 10. Okay, so now, once the screws are off, we just slide this out like so, and, then, and it's a big difference in, uh, in weight. Remove before installing. I did an unboxing on this hard drive, and once I have some time on this hard drive, it's even, let's, let's compare them to see how uh, it's even thinner, look at that. Remember, this is a mechanical drive. This is a one terabyte and this is a SATA. I believe this is a, I don't think it's a 7200 RPM, but that's not the point of this video. So now we have to make sure that the holes align so we can put in the new hard drive. Once this hard drive has, went, has the OS and I start putting in the video editing software and running, uh, all the uh, processes and resource intensive apps that I use and maybe fill this to capacity because the videos, that's the thing. They take up so much capacity and you have to uh, figure out what you're gonna do with your videos because let's say something happens, you have your videos on YouTube or wherever and they decide to shut down your page, how are you gonna recover your videos? So, that's going to be another video for another day. Never keep your eggs all in one basket. So here the uh, the screw holes align and I'm actually now going to make sure that they're all on there and tighten this. You don't want to tighten over tighten this because I don't know if the casing on this hard drive is metal or plastic. It looks like it's plastic so you don't want to strip that and you want to make sure that once you feel that it got it caught on, it's a little bit tight, you just give it a little nudge and that, that should be good enough. 
Remember, there's no vibration on there, and there you go. All right, so now we're gonna insert the, the hard drive the same way that it was removed. You flip it over with this tab here lined up with this. You line it up like so. So when you push it, this tab will snap and keep the hard drive from moving and you press down gently and you start sliding it towards, in this case, is my right until you hear the click. And that is that. And then the cover is the reverse assembly. You see these tabs, it has some tabs in here, tabs in here, all this stuff in here. So what you do is you line this up. Once it's there, you push it down. And once it's there in place, you push the tabs outward and it locks the cover in place. And there you have it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna install the OS on this and get this thing fired up and ready to go. Thanks for watching. I'll have a link in the description for this hard drive um, and tell you my thoughts in a couple of months. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.